Hey guys, Adam Shedd here again um, in my hot tub at our condo and I want to do a little experiment I was doing at the gym this week that was kind of interesting. It's like 104 degrees in here so it may not work as well but I noticed um, when I used my little inhaler before I swam laps that um, I was able to hold my breath significantly longer. I was having a hard time getting in the pool so I got in the hot tub and just kind of relaxed and uh, to totally relax I like to go underwater and just chill. The hot water kind of helps relax a little bit more but I noticed I was able to hold my breath for a significantly longer period than I think I usually do um, when I use my inhaler right before it and for whatever reason I had never tried that before but um, usually I don't think I last a minute comfortably and this time I started, I became uncomfortable enough that I came to the top at one minute, but it really wasn't that bad, so I thought we'll do an experiment since I just got an HD Hero for uh, Christmas from my dad and see if I can reproduce it um, doing a before and after this time. So, so this first one is going to be without having taken the inhaler. I have some head pressure. I'm having a weird pain on top of my head. I don't know if it's sinuses or not, but I would say that I'm in a pretty bad way as far as my uh, asthma is concerned right now. Usually um, I feel a lot better than I have in the last couple of weeks and I haven't felt like working out much. So let's see if I can make a difference with my inhaler. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. It's not turning on. I really don't know how to use this thing yet. I think I left it on. Okay, so I'll just do it from the top view for now. So here goes without inhaler. All right, so it's 40 seconds, and I was pretty uncomfortable there at 40 seconds. And I'm very asthmatic, so you know you can't use an inhaler unless your doctor tells you to use one. So I'm not not telling anyone to try anything here. I don't know if they've ever been used to enhance sports or not. Maybe you can tell me. Wow, so I feel lightheaded right now. Just from holding my breath or whatever. Okay, and then I'm gonna kinda hyperventilate. You don't wanna do too much because you get what's called hypercapnia where your acid base balance gets off and then uh, you can actually pass out from that.
Okay, so that was a minute 15, and it was like twice as long, and I, I think I could have pushed it a little more. I was becoming pretty uncomfortable at a minute 15, but I mean, a very noticeable difference. And so, of course, you know, I've had this since, since I can remember. My parents were rushing me to the emergency room with asthma attacks, and um, the doctors told me different things. I've had some doctors that tell me, take it daily as a preventive measure. I've had some doctors that say, you don't want to take it too much because it'll uh, become addictive. And some doctors, like my dad is just an optometrist, but he always says, uh, I think he thinks I'm going to regret it someday using it because uh, he thinks, you know, any chemical can cause problems. But anyways, uh, you know, before activity, um, I use it and I'm able to get a lot more activity. So there's something to be said with something being better than nothing at any time and uh, and that, that was significantly longer and that was trying my hardest both times so anyways uh, something interesting and then hopefully I'll get this HD camera figured out and put up something even better thanks for watching thanks for bearing with me guys